and welcome to this week's Prom Insight. My name is Gavin Gooden, I'm the Marketing Director here at Blast One. We often get calls from customers looking for a solution to the problem of premature wear on their pop-up valves and seating rings, which on smaller blast pots is directly beneath the top ring, where you fill the pot with abrasive. This is a common problem when pots are continue to being refilled from overhead storage or hopper systems. What happens is the weight of abrasive pushes down on the pop-up valve, which now must struggle to push up and seal properly within that sealing ring. Without a proper seal, air will leak and will carry dust and abrasive that will wear these components. It also really upsets the balance of the pressure in the pot, and you'll see all sorts of problems like not getting consistent abrasive flow, having to choke the pot, and then it will create more wear on other parts of the vessel. Additionally, to replace the pop-up and the sealing ring is a real pain, because you actually have to open up the handway and remove all the inner piping to replace these simple components which again is all downtime. Even the best pots in the business, the Schmidt pots from Blast One, can struggle when excessive pressure from an overhead bin exhausts that force of pressure down against the pop-up valve. The solution to this problem is to introduce a spider plate. It's called a spider plate due to its appearance. This simple solution sits above the loading ring and pop-up valve and bears the weight of the abrasive. It allows the abrasive to flow around it and fill the pot without restriction. When it comes to time for the pop-up valve to push upwards and create a seal, it can do so very quickly and easily because now it only has a very small amount of abrasive, probably only a couple of pounds, to push out of the way. A properly sealed blast pot maintains maximum pressure while sealing correctly around that seating ring. We've used the spider plate on many installations, blast rooms, and areas where blasters are filling from overhead hoppers or bins. It eliminates many problems and allows the blasting operation to continue with better pressure and without frustrating downtime repairs. A common question is, will it take longer to fill the pot since the plates is blocking that fill port? The answer is a resounding no. A razor simply spills off the sides and follows the contours of the bowl flowing in to that loading port. It loads from all directions instead of being forced down in a bottleneck downward pressure. Blast One has a range of spider plates for different size blast pots and for different installations. The most common one we provide has adjustable legs, which allows you to make adjustments for various meter types. You can make one yourself if you like. If you have premature wear or pressure issues with your blast pots, call us now. We enjoy helping you maximize your pressure, your productivity, and your profitability. It's our job. Thank you for watching this week's Problem Insight. We'll see you next week.